The 2023 elections campaign period has officially opened and it is time for candidates of various political parties to market themselves to the electorate. What are Nigerians expecting from the actions and utterances of political candidates as they battle for votes? I am Blessing AG. This is Report on ITV. <music> Uh, expectations are very high, uh, considering the fact that uh, Nigeria is currently experiencing uh, a political or uh, electoral revolution in the country. You can see the willingness and the determination of the part of the citizens to fully participate in this election. And I believe the citizens, we are all determined as a people to change the narrative this time, because over time, the ruling class have taken us for granted as a people, and we need to just change. Uh, the, the, the political arrangement, because over time the politicians of the ruling class have uh, engaged the people, engaged in argumental mercericandom, appealing to pity. Imagine a politician coming to tell us it's time to rule. You see, instead of them uh, basing their campaign in a, a more objective and a realistic uh, issues, the politicians talk, should come up and tell us what they can do for the people, what they feel is realistic. Not coming us to tell us that you are going to do XYZ when you do not even have a plan for doing such. And election is far beyond going to the pool to cast vote. Election is where the people, where the citizens see their power, their right to certain individuals and trust they, they, they are right, they are resources in the hands of certain individuals in return to manage the resources and the lives of the citizens. So we are expecting the, 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 the candidate this time to be more realistic, to look at the plight of the people, to look at the current situation, the, the security and the economy situation that we are going through as a people. It is not well with us as a people, as a country, as a nation. So we are expecting a, 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 a different approach from the citizens and also from the electorate. Because like I said, the electorate can no longer be business as usual. If they come in their usual uh, tactics, they will fail this time. We want to see a candidate that is coming to tell us uh, the problem of this country, not just telling us the problem of this country, should be able to proffer solutions, to show us blueprints. I want to thank God for another year, for another campaign, for another election warming up for 2023, and uh, also the early uh, approval or starting of the campaigns itself. But it is not campaign that really matter. We're talking about issues. Because the outgoing government, they promise in their campaign that they are going to be restructuring. They condemned the, then the outgoing government. But by the time they enter, is they, they deny them for many about restructuring at all, at all. So this campaign is not the matter, it's the issues. What are the issues? What, and two, most of the, for, for some time now, we don't have manifesto. When I was younger, at the time of uh, UPN, MPN, and all that, they have manifesto. The UPN, we know that they are for education, free education, and all that. This crop of politicians that are here, that they are cropping up now, they don't have manifesto. So we don't really, it's not something people should not rest on them, or else we just fall on a gutter. Because they don't have manifesto, and uh, they should, individuals that want to vote, should vote on those issues, those political parties that have issues affecting, or that would discuss the matter affecting the masses, the, the downtrodden people that have not eaten. Issues like light. If you want to build post economy of any nation, light must be priority. So if we have light as an issue and they can realize, if it's only one thing or two you want to do throughout your four years, 
Then the next year, if you are lucky, the next time, if you are lucky, you can push one another too. Don't tell us lies that you want to do heaven and earth, you want to tie the air and bring an airplane to, to, to fly on top of river. No, that's what people know not hear. We want to hear issues. One, light, restructuring, security, education. These are what this thing that is so people, the poor people want to hear. What we need from our leaders now, the kind of leadership we think we want, is a focused leadership. Our main problem is not even that we, we, are, not, we are not bereft of leaders, but we are bereft of the quality of leaders. The leadership in this country gives a lot of us concern because looking at what we have gone through in the last 60, 62 years, uh, much is left to be desired. We've had different kinds of leadership, military, civilian, but now we have an opportunity to right the ranks. I've always told people we have been looking like a dirty country. And when something is dirty, we look for water to wash and make clean. But if the water is dirty, then of course you need to rethink the water. So we must to rethink Nigeria. We must, to, we must to recalibrate Nigeria. 60 years ago, we were giants of Africa, 60, 60, 60, 50, even up to 40 years ago. But now we are the poverty capital of the world. So we need a leadership that will be able to come and look at our economy, which is the major bane of our existence. Today, the dollar is about 700 and whatever. In 1960, we're not even talking about dollars. Now we depend on other countries for subsistence, which is not even right. Uh, Nigeria is such a country that if we have the kind, the kind of relationship that we, that, 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 we, that we should get, uh, in another 15 years, I won't say 10 years because 20 things have gone wrong, somebody must come and start to rebuild Nigeria. It's going to be a, 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 a rebuild process, which I think God has given us an opportunity to think and choose rightly. Because what, we, what you get is what you choose. And we want to choose now the kind of leadership that will take us out of the doldrums, that will take us to our dreamland. It's not so much what the candidates have to say, but what the electorate would insist upon. Historically, we have allowed the politicians, after sweet talk, to say they would do these things for us and on our behalf, year in, year out. Situation is not even remaining the same now, it's getting worse. So for me, the time has come for our people to stand firm. We want poverty to be abolished from our land. We want illiteracy to be wiped out. We want nakedness to be a thing of the past. We want unemployment to be banned. What is it that those in office must do to arrive at this? And of course, as is very popular these days. How do they plan to achieve it if they say they subscribe to this? But beyond all of that, for our people, there is a role for us as the victims of misrule in our country. To be alert. They say eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. The way our Governments have been run. We have left the masses of our people at the level of being onlookers. Look, man. Sit down, look. And so, people use the process of governance to create business opportunities for themselves. So, when contracts are awarded, they are not intended to be performed. Those contracts are highly, highly inflated. People are paid mobilization fees 
and they take the entire amount. They never even go to the contract site. But there are those who are supposed to be the beneficiaries of such contracts. They feel helpless. So one of the things our people must insist upon in this time is the right to participate in the formulation of policies and the implementation of policies. Myself and many other Nigerians, we want to see sincere commitment towards the daily plight Nigerians are going through, most especially the downtrons of the society. We want to see that campaign and the electoral promises revolve around issues that are philosophical in nature, issues that actually address the insecurity, the economic challenges of Nigeria, as well as the dwindling infrastructural decay that an average Nigerian experience. We want to also see how far they can discuss issues bordering on restructuring. Are we still going to maintain a system that appears to have an outlook of a unitary system of government? Or are we going to maintain a system that is true federal in nature? That is to say, the regional and component unit, the state and local government, are giving more financial autonomy to operate within the terrain that are suitable for peoples within the confines, rather than having everything you know, go through Abuja. Because to me, that system is not working, and I, I'm sure many Nigerians can attest to it. Give an example like the Fulani Headsmen, which have you know, paraded themselves in these countries with impunity. If we had state policing, just we are trying to have it right now, we would have had a better policing system. And there is no economy or country or society that can strive if you don't have good structures on ground in terms of security. Because when you have security, then the economy will boom. So yes, I know we, in past few weeks and months, we've had campaigns issues on maybe more of like a comedy. You know, people are talking about the Agbado and the, what's the Milokons and what have you. But, that, but this is the time to get serious and to actually interrogate each candidate, irrespective of the love or likes that we might have for any of them. When we see such a uh, smear campaign, it is our responsibility to remind those candidates that their position they are vying for is a very serious one. Should they shouldn't treat it with levity, rather than having campaigns or issues that do not, would not benefit the average Nigerian. It's time to be serious. And I think if their followers tend to allow their candidate know that what you are doing on electoral grounds is of something of no interest and you might lose our votes, I think then those candidates will be serious. So for me, it all boils down on the electorates, not even the candidate this time around. I think the LED, if the candidates watch the body language of the, the electorate, then they, they, know, they definitely know what to do because they are the one vying for that uh, high position. As it concerns 2023 elections campaign, in setting the agenda for political candidates, Nigerians who spoke to Viewpoint Career asking for issues-based campaign devoid of calumny and where smear campaign does happen, it should be discouraged by the electorate as they say 2023 election must be treated as very serious business. I am blessing the Ichi.